I always say that the devil is like a cockroach. You go into a room that's infested by bugs. When you turn the light on, what do the bugs do? They scurry to every crack and crevice. They want to get out of the light. Hi everybody, thanks again for tuning in to another video about spiritual warfare here. The subject of our discussion today would be about dealing with demonic activities based on what the veteran exorcist Father Vincent Lampert shared in one of his many lectures. So if anyone is dealing with ordinary or extraordinary demonic activity, here are some things that Father Vincent Lampert told us what we should always do, and that is to maintain fidelity to God. If we feel like we're being attacked, this is not the time for change. Maintain fidelity to God. Be patient. Exercise humility. Have confidence in the Holy Spirit who will lead, guide, and direct you. Intensify certain spiritual practices, such as regularly attending Mass and receiving Holy Communion, going to confession on a regular basis, spending time before the Blessed Sacrament, incorporating Marian devotions into the daily routine, such as praying the Rosary. Our Blessed Mother is seen as a powerful ally for anyone up against the forces of evil. We know in the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 15, it says of our blessed mother that she will crush the head of the serpent. And how does she crush the head of the serpent? By being obedient to God. Adam and Eve said no to God's plan. But when the archangel Gabriel came to Mary and said that God has a plan for you, how did she respond? Let it be done to me according to your word. She demonstrates obedience to God and that obedience crushes the head of Satan. We can include other devotions, such as the Divine Mercy Prayer, their prayers to our patron saints. We can use sacraments such as holy water, sacred images. Some people wear medals and crosses around their necks. Again, all of these things can be important because they remind us of the presence of God and that God is always with us. Ultimately, we should never give in to the lies of the devil that we have been abandoned by God or feel nothing of him. All of us need to fear God and not the devil. Matthew 10:28. When confronted firmly and decisively, the devil is weak and helpless. He's essentially a coward. He will only attack when met with weakness. When resisted, the devil flees. In fact, I believe that as Catholics, if we're living out our faith by going to Mass, receiving the sacraments, reading sacred scripture, spending time in prayer, the devil is already on the run. We need to demonstrate to the devil that we are not weak and that the devil will ultimately flee.